Recently, I finished building a CNC router from scratch. Oh wait, wrong text. <clears throat> Recently, I sold my homemade CNC router. That machine was a great learning experience for its time and I used it a lot for different jobs from making PCBs over woodwork to other things. But it was also limited in its function, loud and sometimes difficult to set up. And I thought I don't need it anymore. Then about a year ago and by coincidence, I saw this CNC machine for sale on what is essentially the German version of Craigslist. It was located just a kilometer away from my house. The price was about 250 euro and it even came with the fourth axis, which alone costs about that much usually. Long story short, I could not resist and bought it. The previous owner could not tell me much about it. He ran it only a couple of times using the software that came with it and then lost interest. I basically bought a surprise package here. I didn't know in what condition the machine was or whether it was working, but I thought that it will at least make a nice video, or two, or three. So what is this thing? This is a so-called CNC3040. The name stands for a whole series of low-end Chinese CNC machines that are sold since about a decade or so. The number 3040 stands for the bed size of quite substantial 30 by 40 centimeters. They used to have a price tag of more than 1000 euro in the past and now they seem to cost between 500 and 800 euro. Depending on when and where people got their machines, they look quite different to each other and come with different controllers, motors, spindles and accessories. My machine here seems to be from about 2015 or so. The controller box has a parallel port and a USB port. I have read somewhere that these controllers often came with a pirated firmware in the past and that the machines were shipped with a pirated version of Mark III or similar on CD. I don't have a CD for this machine and the company does not offer the software for download. For good reasons, I guess. Connected via USB, the machine identifies itself as CNC USB controller from Planet CNC. That is a Slovenian company for CNC firmware and software. Their CNC program does not want to talk to my machine. Maybe it recognizes that the firmware is unlicensed. I'm not sure, but I want to go a different route anyway. Before USB controllers, CNC machines got the signals for the stepper motors directly from a PC via parallel port. Projects like Linux CNC came from that time. Since about 2013, the software GRBL or Gerbil has been used widely instead. It allows controlling CNC machines with an Arduino or other microcontroller. It is a great piece of software and I will also use it for my machine here. Some new CNC machines actually seem to come with a GRBL controller as well. I started with taking my machine apart. I took off the motors, bearings, axles and checked the parts and I cleaned off dust and old grease. Then I quickly put it back together. And everything worked. Okay, that was a lie. There's actually quite some stuff wrong with the machine and it's down here now. There's enough story for two or three videos in that pile. So let's get started. For example, with some tests. There are some great projects on Hackaday.io about using the parallel port with custom-made GRBL controllers. I got the port pinout from this project here. I wrote a short Arduino program that creates 200 pulses in a row and started probing the port. The x-axis motor came to life on instant. I guess that's a good sign. The y motor behaved weird though. Although, luckily, that was an easy fix. 
The stepper motors have 200 steps per revolution, but they need 8 times 200 pulses for one rotation here. That means that the controllers use 1 8 micro stepping. Changing direction worked fine as well for all the motors, and also the fourth axis works fine. I will control my machine with a GRBL version that supports the fourth axis and that runs on an Arduino Mega. I installed the software on the module and connected one axis for testing. On the PC side, the software UGS Platform, formerly known as Universal G-Code Sender, sends the G-Code and allows some basic machine control. After some setup and fine tuning, the software was able to control my machine. When I click these buttons, the software sends so called jogging commands to the machine to move it around. I wanted to move my machine with a hand controller instead of clicking buttons. The jogging commands are sent to the microcontroller via the USB to serial adapter that is on the module. The serial pins of the microcontroller are connected to the adapter, but they are also available here, marked as TX0 and RX0. So I should be able to send commands via these pins. I connected TX and RX of another Arduino to the pins and wrote a program that sends jogging commands by simply using the serial printer command. And this actually works. The GRBL Arduino can even stay connected to the G-Code software at the same time. But it is important that the other Arduino stops the serial connection after sending commands and sets the pins free so that they don't block the commands that come from the computer. The CNC software detects that something weird is going on, because the GRBL controller sends a OK reply after each executed command. But it still updates the machine position correctly, because the position values are pulled from the controller after any response. Neat! You can see from this setup here already where my idea is going. More details about that in one of the next videos. That's enough for now and I stop here. Next time I will show how I put the machine back together. Actually there will be a short video in between, so stay tuned for that one too. See you next time.